But people don't want to vote for a convicted felon, and I think he needs to be careful about that. He still has a lot of cases pending against him. Is that the whole point of this, though? Yep. Yes. Yeah. And then the also, it's so well, people, also, don't, it's so like people no, don't vote for a you, felon. It's a, it's a right, circular yeah. argument. Yeah. But if you, but that's making it out as if the man didn't do anything wrong. And well, the average victim. real estate, yeah. the no average victim. real estate investor isn't inflating the worth of their you, you real estate. Out. You don't know anything right. about real estate, that's Jessica. You rent. Look at that building right there. Trump owns that building. Take a look at the entire Manhattan skyline. Did you skyline. actually just say Trump that? Trump owns <laughs> all of these beautiful properties. He's built these things. What has Joe Biden He's put built? His name Joe on a Biden bunch of has that not have built a- anything, Jessica. Whoa. I'm going to play much more from where that came from in just a second. There have been so many good Jessica Tarlov moments recently. Thus, got to do another segment. And actually, we'll combine two editions of the five. Uh, moments from both of them this one gets pretty personal you're about to see the rest of it pretty heated and there jesse waters said that trump has built things what has joe biden built well joe biden signed to law the largest investment in infrastructure since the eisenhower highway program so more than trump could ever dream of and considering the fact that we're voting and discussing these individuals as candidates for president what they did or want to do as president matters the most right and trump kept saying infrastructure week infrastructure week he promised a massive infrastructure investment that never ended up happening he didn't build anything new on that front joe biden again got it done and also citing the fact that trump's business has done things doesn't at all uh, take away from the necessity for accountability when that same business engages in fraud you don't have different laws applied to you because certain buildings have your name on them. Uh, Before I say more, which I have a lot to say, here's more from that back and forth. They're giving terrorists more respect than Donald Trump. They said, this is what makes America, America. Now they're just destroying this man. They don't care about precedent. They're just trying to attack him any which way they can. Donald Trump has great, I mean, he thinks it's great representation. He is being given due process. He has gotten almost all of his requests from the Supreme Court down to the state courts. Okay. Really quickly going to pause your viewing of this segment to ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's so helpful to grow the show. Just make sure that subscribe button is clicked and click the like button as well. Back to the video. And what you just said, beyond the incredibly rude way that you began about the fact that I rent my apartment, um, is basically giving him carte blanche to do everything from storing classified documents and flouting subpoenas and not returning them to fomenting an insurrection after he lost an election Jeez, by millions funny. of votes. He's not charged with that, is he? What, well, I, those, what I'm saying, what I'm, Jessica, what I'm saying is there's no victims in any of these cases. There are no victims with any of these cases, Jesse Waters claims. Again, as Jessica Tarlov did, I'm also setting aside the bizarre personal jab from him against Jessica. But there are, as far as uh, victims go, the most amount of victims in this case than other cases that I can possibly think of. Because when it comes to the election interference related cases in uh, Fulton County or the federal one. This is talking about the American people at large. Trump was trying to victimize the American people at large by subverting their will and just installing himself as president. If the fake elector scheme had worked, if the pressuring of local officials to engage in fraud had worked, if any of these schemes had worked, if the insurrection had worked, then Trump would have stayed in power despite the will of the people. And so America at large, the millions of voters who voted for Joe Biden would have been victimized there. Then the fraud case, we hear this a lot too, right? Oh, there's no, there's no victim. If money's being given to Trump because of fraud he's engaging in, overinflating the value of his properties, that money is not going to other small businesses, for example, who maybe could have gotten it instead. So that should be corrected. But even so, as I've said in the past, Let's say you believe that. There's not really a huge victim in this case. Constantly, laws are enforced before someone's victimized if there was a violation of the law. And so the Kevin O'Leary's of the world who has been out there saying this talking point of no victim, which again, I dispute, but uh, Jesse Waters too. You both are saying then that a drunk driver who's swerving all around so a cop pulls them over, they haven't yet hurt anyone, So then you're saying they shouldn't be held accountable legally for that. That drunk driving should only be a crime if someone's killed or harmed in the process. 
Of course you want to argue for that. Because just like with fraud, allowing for violations of the law, in a sense, incentivizes future violations of the law. And again, as I previously explained, in this case, there was harm done. Uh, but wild how they'll sort of throw their own principles of law and order, whatever it might be, in the trash and service of Trump, as I will continue to point out. And then before saying more, here is a moment from today's edition of The Five. And as you may have heard, True Social went public and the conservative hosts are trying to justify just how valuable True Social is, despite Jessica Tarlov pointing out that no one really seems to be using it. And that made the conservative host very unhappy. Lisa, Ka Jessica, have you scored on yourselves? I don't think so. I, just also Charity Navigator has a very high rating for the Clinton Foundation. Uh, I don't, uh, I, listen, I have always said this. Donald Trump gets really lucky. Oh, oh this is, is that what it is? Of course. Oh, it's the genius of True Social that has under 500,000 users le through the last nine months of 2023. What have you built, it, Jessica? Yeah. Here we go. I mean, Are you guys come kidding on. me? How many no, I mean, I'm always interested. That, I love it well, when people have, who have a media footprint pretend to know how things are built. I don't know oh, no. how things are made. No, but I know that. I don't know that, anything about I know that when something is doing well he's that people want to be yeah. on it look at all these buildings. and when he's they lucky no, he's uh, lucky yeah. he was a billionaire yeah. before this stuff uh, yeah, he was he, uh, he had two he billion just and invested it in a savings account okay yeah and the, anyway, and, and, you know I, what? and the government no. tried to take his money <laughs> from him. they want to lock him up they the want his money and now they're furious because he's making money on his own and you know what the, it's poetic justice good yeah, for him it's great poetry so in the last nine months of 2023 Truth Social generated $3.4 million, and it lost $49 million in that span. The valuation, which is $11 billion, compared to Reddit, right? Something that we've all been on, right? Something that people use. I don't. Every I don't. Okay, you're on Truth Social, but not on Reddit. Anyway, their valuation was $6.4 billion. So you think that a site that has less than okay. half a million users, I mean, you this know, is what, you know these what are lost money? Electric pathetic. car companies. It's pathetic. I, I <laughs> this is pathetic. The man, look, I'm not bringing you Reddit into this board, conversation. It's because it's hatred, other companies that just had hatred, IP. Hatred, all these valuations are ridiculous, Jessica. Okay, then he's the game. Uh, it's like GameStop, okay. right? It's you know mean, what? No? You know well, how you look not, at this? You I'm look at this. Oh, you're on Truth Social? I'm on Truth Social. Show it to me. I'm not having you look at my phone. Show me your phone. How, how <laughs> dare you, you Show fed. Me. You're a fan. Wow, Greg, I have lost total control. Do you want to comment? Yeah, so in a sense, Jessica Tarlov is warning the MAGA supporters about this company. Just beware that this is sort of a disaster and it's not super successful, despite what Trump says and despite what these Fox hosts say. So be careful throwing your hard-earned money at this stock because that could end up hurting you financially. And then the other Fox hosts are not happy with that warning, I guess, from Jessica Tarlov. Now, back to what we were talking about before. You'll notice, again, when they defend Trump in these cases, when they pretend like it's an outrage that he's being held accountable legally for his wrongdoing, it's never detail-oriented. It's never about, as we've gone over so many times in the past, let's discuss this indictment. And here... I I don't think that there's evidence to substantiate this allegation made by a prosecutor. Here, I don't think that this is a fair interpretation of Trump's actions or something. And that never happens. It's just a former president's being charged. And oh my goodness. And uh, in the case of the fraud case, uh, it's never about the particulars of the allegations, the law, and then what Trump did or didn't do. It's just, come on, he built stuff. And Mar-a-Lago is worth three trillion dollars, <laughs> and whatever it might be, it just is not detail-oriented, which shows they don't really have a strong argument based on again the law compared to what Trump did, and it's more about the feelings. <laughs> One of you of the show said they giggle every time I said the fee fees. That's what it's about. Okay, they don't like that Trump is being held accountable. That's it at the end of the day. And I'll leave it there. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel.